mean, you know, they're they're just excited to play against somebody else. Well, and you know, you guys are going to have a target on your back. You know, after all the championships last year, pick first coming into this year. How do you feel like your team's going to handle those types of expectations coming into the year? Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll find out. You know, I mean, Grand Canyon's got the same expectations. You know, they're picked to win their league, and uh, obviously, since Coach Drew's been there, they've been tremendous. You know, they went to the tournament two years ago, and last year they lost a, you know, a tough one in the championship to New Mexico State. And so, you know, it's it's one of the toughest environments to play in in the entire country. And so, I think our guys are going to see some adversity early, and uh, you know, we don't. You mentioned the championship. We don't even really talk about it right now. And uh, you know, these guys have something to prove, and and uh, we're going to have to be we're going to have to be on our best, you know, early, which isn't easy to do with a lot of new guys. Uh, Bruce Haroldson had a chance to talk to your guys at, at practice last night. What was his message? What was it like having him around the team? Yeah, it was great. You know, he just talked about his five years at Montana State, and you know how special of a place it is. And you know, once you're a Bobcat, always a Bobcat. And uh, you know, it's it's good for our guys to kind of see the tradition, and you know, I want them to know that's who they're playing for. You know, when you put that jersey on, you know, there's so many players and coaches and you know fans that you know that are going crazy for Montana State basketball, and that's that's why you're playing for us. All those fans are going to be going crazy for a couple of different names with Xavier Bishop uh, now graduating at the point guard position. A couple of new guys coming in. What do you expect out of your point guard play coming into this first game? Yeah, you know, I'm 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 pleased with Darius and Robert Ford. Obviously, Robert's been in a boot for six weeks. You know, he just got out of it, and you know, but he's a tough kid who just competes. Uh, Darius is a you know a consummate point guard. You know, I mean, he's always looking to get guys the basketball, and uh, you know, they're both really different than X. You know, X was such a dynamite scorer, and you know, could really he could get the ball into the paint whenever he wanted. And uh, you know, these guys are different, and uh, you know, we have to adjust to that because they're different in a good way. Um, and so. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it'll be interesting, and, you know, it'll be fun to throw him to the fire right away. Can't wait to see it. And, uh, of course, Jabril Bello coming off the tremendous year and, again, picked preseason MVP. Where has he grown, and what do you expect to see out of him coming into this year? Yeah, I mean, it's been hard. You know, I mean, he obviously had knee surgery right after the Texas Tech game, and uh, so he didn't get a, a summer. You know, I mean, he was out for about five months. And so, you know, I wouldn't even say he's 100% right now. You know, and we got to keep just kind of working him into it. And, you know, his leadership and just – you know, his care factor is what makes him special. You know, he just, he cares. He cares about Montana State. He cares about his teammates. He cares about us playing well. And, uh, you know, and his leadership is going to carry us a long way this year. All right, let's take a look at this Grand Canyon University team making their season debut today, obviously. What are some of the things they're good at? What are some of their uh, highly touted skills? Yeah, I mean, they're they're super talented. I mean, there's a reason they're picked to win the WAC. Uh, you know, led by Javon Blackshear, who's one of the best point guards, not only on the West Coast or the WAC Conference, you know, he's in the country. Uh, he's he's got plenty of experience, um, you know. He's preseason player of the year in their league, uh, but he's just he's dynamic. He's fast. He can really shoot it now. He's really improved his shooting over the years. Uh, and he's just I mean he's a tremendous point guard. They got you know Ray Harrison, a transfer from Presbyterian that averaged 19 a game. You know, and they just their their big guys are big and physical. They play well together. You know, they got they remind me a little bit of our team last year. Uh, you know, they just, they got guys that really play their roles to a to a you know the highest level you know Gabe McLaughlin could be an all-league player but he's just he's tremendous for him on the boards and you know that's that's going to be the key is you know can we rebound to basketball against their big strong athletic bodies today what do you expect out of this atmosphere at this arena tonight yeah I mean it's one of the best atmospheres in the country I mean there's a reason Rick Pitino said it's the best atmosphere he's played in front of and so you know it's going to be opening night you know I mean they had the tents out even last night and uh when we were walking out of practice I mean their their students are excited and yeah, but that's what that's what makes college basketball special. It's going to be awesome for our guys, and and uh, you know it's going to pay dividends down down the line too when we play in other environments like this. All right, can't wait to see it, Coach. Appreciate the time and the insight. Let's get it done. You got it. Go Cats. All right, we'll take a break. When we get back, we'll continue to get you ready for the first tip off of the year between Montana State and Grand Canyon University. For head coach uh, Danny Sprinkle, I'm Keaton Glogley. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. This game has been like one of the more challenging I've ever had. <laughs> Just the travel, and they had a doubleheader, so there was a women's game right before this, trying to get set up during that, and like finding out it's an extra seven minutes on the pregame show. And oh my gosh, dude, it's so much. It's all good though, but whew, I am dying. 
Oh. But the best perform when they're not at their best. Check, check. What was that? of the first interstate bank uh, broadcast position. Uh, for a second there, I thought uh, we had accidentally uh, walked into a club. This place is rocking and hopping. They have all the different LED lights going. They've got an incredible atmosphere building and going here. They had the, uh, the purple lights going. They had confetti. They had uh, the, the steam and smoke machines going. They had big old uh, tarps and, and signs over the top of the fans. And uh, the student section fills up three different uh, sections across from us as uh, Grand Canyon University comes out of their locker room right now. I mean, it literally feels like you're you're absolutely in like a club or a, a, a college party basement <laughs> in Phoenix right now. And there's a reason this place is gaining a heck of a reputation. And regardless of how this all goes down today, this is gonna be a heck of an atmosphere and a great opportunity for this Cavs squad to toughen up early as we get into the start of the season. All right, well, uh, before we really dive into things here, let's go ahead and uh, pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Basketball. We are back with some Bobcat basketball live from Phoenix from the campus of Grand Canyon University and Montana State opens up their 2022-2023 campaign today. We're sitting at the First Interstate Bank broadcast position and we are approaching the uh, prime lending tip off which is actually coming up at seven minutes past the top of the hour so we still have uh, seven minutes to go before we get to the top of our hour or the top uh, the tip of our broadcast and we get to our starting lineups today let's get to our Kendall Ford and keys to the game today as we take a look at what needs to be done in this ball game for Montana State and the first and for, uh, first and foremost the first key is going to be the point guard play. Obviously for Montana State losing a lot in that regard to graduation last season. So how will we see this, uh, these new point guards uh, settle in and, and run this new offense for Danny Sprinkle in, in terms of for themselves, their, their new offense? Because it's gonna be tough uh, for, the, for those two guys. It's gonna be Robert Ford and Darius Brown and we'll see who kind of steps up and which one kind of rises to the top. I think one of the good things for Sprinkle is that he's got two guys so you can kind of play the hot hand and see which one steps in and, and gets them going uh, and, and can kind of get things uh, rolling for Montana State. And uh, the other part of it is Jabril Bello. How is he going to respond after his injury last season, after the offseason surgery? You know, he did not have that full traditional uh, offseason so how will he be able to uh, bounce back and, and get things going today and obviously high expectations for Jabril Bello but you know what will he look like as he continues to recover from uh, injury so that's going to be a very very interesting aspect of this uh, this year and then uh, two other guys that I think are going to be absolutely key in this game and moving forward as well it's going to be uh, Raekwon Battle, a guy who's getting into the starting lineup now this season. He's a guy who plays with a lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of skill 
on the offensive side. How will he settle in on the defensive side of the ball? And then the other question for me and Key today is uh, how will great Asabor play? You know, he has looked really good in practice. He's looked great in the exhibition. How does he step up and perform as the lead backup for Jabril Bello? So it's going to be fun to see how those guys all settle in as we get ready for our first tip-off of the season. We're going to take one more break. When we get back, we've got your first starting lineups of the year live from the first Interstate Bank broadcast position. It's the Cats and the Lopes to open up the 2022-2023 season. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Trial by fire for the Bobcats today in one of the most difficult atmospheres you'll find at the mid-major level. And we'll see what this new look Cats offense looks like this evening as they kick off the 2022-2023 season today. Hello, everybody. My name is Keaton Gilogly, an absolute treat to be with you. And Montana State coming into a difficult matchup, and they'll do it with this starting lineup today. 
Their new point guard is Darius Brown the second. Tyler Patterson starting with uh, Raekwon Battle, Jabriel Bello, and Sam Lekulon. That's the first starting five for Danny Sprinkle and the Cats today. On the other side for Grand Canyon University, Javon Blackshirt Jr., the WAC preseason player of the year, is the starting point guard, Ray Harrison. Preseason all-conference, Noah Bauman, Yvonne Odrago, and Gabe McLaughlin. That's the starting five for Bryce Drew and Grand Canyon University. Montana State today is in their navy blue uniforms. Gold Montana State written across the chest, gold numbers on the back, gold and white trim coming down the side of the navy blue jerseys. For uh, Grand Canyon University, they wear their home white uniforms. Grand Canyon written in an arc across the chest in black font. Black numbers on the back with their last names written across the shoulders and black trim at the bottom of the white shorts. GCU written in purple across center court and we are ready for hoops. The ball is tossed to the air and the tip is won by Grand Canyon and the season is underway. So the Lopes will work to our right. They're officially the Antelopes, but they unofficially go almost exclusively by the uh, by the Lopes. So they've got the first possession of the day working offensively to our right. Blackshirt comes around a screen and knocks down a jumper for the first two points of the season. Two nothing Grand Canyon as we get the year underway. Montana State with their first offensive possession of the season. It's taken over to the left side and tossed up to the right wing. Like a lot bounces down to the right baseline. Battle bobbles, but is able to recover on the baseline with 10 seconds to shoot. Step back two ball. A little too strong off the inside of the iron. Rebound tip and one by Grand Canyon. Lopes with their second possession of the day. Plaxer over to the left wing. Kicks it into the left corner. Work back out to the top of the key. Harrison wraps it around to Bauman. One hand pass up to the top. Over to the left wing, Blackshirt. He takes it into the lane, forces it up off the window, and in. Tough finish by Javon Blackshirt through some contact. Cats down 4 0 in the first 10 seconds of the day. Or excuse me, the first minute and 10 seconds of the day. And now a pass into the post is kicked by Blackshirt, and they, they will reset. So the Cats will inbound over on the right sideline, trailing 4 0 with 18.49 to go in the first half. Raekwon Battle will inbound on the right sideline. Throws it up to Brown. Run to the point. Over to Lekulot on the right elbow. And off for Battle right wing. He works his way into the lane. Bobbles at the free throw line. Gets it to Bello for his first touch of the year. Working on the left side of the baseline. Has it stripped away and stolen. A turnover by the Cats. Blackshirt the other way. Bobbles loose. Out of bounds. Sticking with Grand Canyon. But very, very close. Good hustle by Darius Brown. Getting back on defense. Cats down. 4 0. 18.32 to go in the first half. Just getting things kind of settled and underway here. And Grand Canyon has the possession. Toss up the top for Harrison. He works his way into the lane, kicks back out, left wing three. That is short, rebound tip out of bounds. And it's ooh, going to Montana State. They caught a break. Bellow was there right in front of. Odrago and Odrago, I thought I, I thought Bello touched that, but Cats will take it. They get a bit of a break and they get the possession back. Montana State with the basketball down into Bello, going to the cup on the right block. He's cut off, steps underneath, reverse layup off the window. That's no good. Got his own rebound, had it stripped momentarily, able to recover on the left baseline. Good at motor inside, kick to the top. Lekulot knocks down the three ball. Sam Lekulot, his first three points of the season, the Cats are on the board. 17.50 to go in the first. Montana State down for three. Bauman up at the top. Bounce over to the right wing. Blackshirt's got it. Tightly pestered by Brown. Throws it back up to the top. Back to Blackshirt. Works his way into the lane. Step back two from the free throw line. No good. Missed it right. Rebound loose on the deck. And the Cats win a 50-50 ball. Good hustle early on by Montana State. They're playing with some effort and energy right out of the gate. Brown up to the top around the screen. Gets to the elbow. Still has the dribble and weaves back out beyond the arc to reset with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Cats down by a point. Out to Patterson. Back up to Brown. We got a whistle and a foul away from the ball. That's going on McLaughlin. His first, first foul of the game. 
Coming into the ball game now is Robert Ford III making his Montana State debut. Tyler Patterson will take a seat, so both Ford and Brown on the floor together. The dual point guard uh, opportunity here. Toss out to the top for Lekala. Bounce pass over the left wing. Given to Brown over on the right wing. Holding the ball above his head, fires into the post. Battle bobbles, able to recover in the lane. Puts the ball on the floor, spins right, banks it off the glass, no good. Off the inside of the iron, and Grand Canyon has the rebound with the ball, up 4-3. 17 minutes to go in the first half. Here's a left corner three, that's no good. Quick stop for the Cats, and they've got the rebound moving from right to left. Four to the left wing. Takes it up to the top of the key. Bounce pass into the post. Bellow turns, lefty hook, got it to go. Jabril Bello on the board for the first time today, and the Cats have their first lead of the day, up 5-4. 16.35 to go in the first. Out at the top, Black Scherther, preseason WAC player of the year. Gives it to Odrago. Hand off to Blackshire. Around to the left wing, McLaughlin. Works his way to the left wing, bounce down to the post, tip free, recovered. They saved the possession with seven seconds on the shot clock. Grand Canyon still has it. Five on the shot clock, up to the top four. Around to the left wing, two. Blackshire with one, and a shot clock violation. Excellent defensive, defensive effort by the Cats. So Montana State will take over. And they've got their first lead up 5-4 with 16 minutes to go in the first half. Montana State coming off one of their more successful years in 20 seasons. And they're trying to start things off with a bang on the road in a more, one of the more hostile environments you'll find around the country. Battle curls into the lane. The runner is up and good. Raekwon Battle getting the start today. His first two points. Cats up 7-4. Over to the right wing. Harrison has it for Grand Canyon as they work to our right in the home white unis. Hand off to Blackshire, the point guard. Curls to the top of the key. Now works his way down to the left elbow. Has to kick it out into the left corner. Drive it along the baseline. That is blocked. Raekwon Bottle, uh, Battle turns it away. Montana State picks up the loose ball. Moving from right to left. And it's a kick by Grand Canyon. And that will take us to a break. Wow. Montana State off to a 7-0 run. Raekwon Battle a big block. And we're seeing everybody starting to get into the fold now. Cats up 7-4, 15 of 26 to go in the first half. We'll take a break. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Back at the First Center State Bank broadcast position. First Center State Bank also features all of our scoreboard updates, which we will get to a little bit later. Here, the Cats have a 7-4 lead over Grand Canyon. 15-26 to go in the first half. Montana State with two uh, assists so far, presented by Aware Mental Health Services. And they have one three-point field goal so far, presented by Wendy's. 
Montana State with a basketball, looking to inbound in the offensive zone. Out to battle on the right baseline. His mid-range jumper's no good. Rebound tipped out, and the Cats were able to track it down and hustle down an extra possession. It was Robert Ford getting out there and picking up that loose ball. Ford has it over on the right wing. Throws it back up to the top, Fuller. Into Osibor, his first touch. Backing down to the left block, still with the dribble. Spins, pump fake, step through, righty layup. No, but traveled, and a turnover by the Cats. Montana State right now on a 7-0 run, and they've held Grand Canyon 0 for their last four. So they're settling in right now. And boy, if you want to play college basketball, this is a great place to be right now. Montana State getting challenged on the road. We're going to find out what they're made of. And so far, they're made of a lot of hustle in the early going, and they've got a 7-4 lead. Blackshire down into the lane. He gets double teamed. Has to kick it out. It's tipped. Fuller. Track. It down the, uh, in the backcourt, cannot get it cleanly, and Grand Canyon takes it back over. Good hustle by Fuller. Now working his way inside, Baker traveled. Another turnover forced by Montana State. Boy, this Cats defense has shown up early. The offense will always come and go, but defense and effort will travel, and the Cats are showing that in abundance in the first five or so minutes of the season. Robert Ford the third, transferring over from Idaho State, making his Cats debut, takes the basketball with a dribble over to the left wing as the Cats work offensively to our left. Into battle, down to Osibor, back to the basket on the left, baseline of the block, back and down, spins right shoulder, lefty hook, kisses it off the window and in. Great Osibor, his first two points of the day. 9-0 run for the Cats, they're up 9-4, 14 minutes to go in the first half. Blackshire slowing it down. Big deep breath, stand at the top of the key. Works his way over the left wing. Bounce down to the left block. McLaughlin working inside, and we got a foul. Caleb Fuller called for it. His first foul of the day. Montana State leading 9-4. 14.04 to go in the first. And Grand Canyon will inbound here. Looking to get it in from the baseline. Toss into the left corner. Then back up to the top. Hand off to McMillan at the top of the key. Guarded tightly. Works his way to the left wing. Now here's a three. That is no good. High off the back iron. And Fuller wins a contested rebound for the Bobcats. They move from right to left. Here's Darius Brown running the point. Board on the floor as well. Brown up to the top around a screen. Kicks back to Fuller on the right wing. Tosses into the right corner. Driving the baseline. Layup is good. Patrick McMahon, a beautiful take along that right baseline through contact, able to finish. And the Cats are on an 11 0 run. They're up 11 4. 13 30 to go in the first. Blackshire up at the top of the key. Throws over to the right wing, McLaughlin. Toss up to the top. Giving over to the left wing now. McMillan throws to Baker topside. Works his way into the lane. Bobbled, and it's stripped away. McMahon has it in transition to the rack. Lays it up. No, and a foul. Great transition offense by the Cats. The sophomore, Patrick McMahon, the steal to take the other way, and he'll go to the line for two. Foul is on Chance McMillan, his first. Montana State, after that slow start, has gone on an 11-0 run, and they've held Grand Canyon to 0 for their last five. Patrick McMahon to the stripe. He's got two coming in the first. Is no good off the front iron, rolled off. So right now, Montana State runs the two-point guard system with Darius Brown and Robert Ford. Brown transferring from CSUN. He's out of Pasadena, California, and Robert Ford from Portland, Oregon. He's now on his third school and played two years at community college, two years at Idaho State, and now he stays in the big sky with Montana State as McMahon misses the second free throw. So two misses. Those were two tough misses for Montana State, and they lead 11-4, 13 minutes to go in the first. We've got a hand check foul here. And that'll be on Robert Ford, his first. High intensity game, it's been fun to watch. Officials have been good in the early going. Don't forget they're just settling in, just like we are. Everybody just trying to find their footing. And this is a heck of a storm, trying to find your footing for Montana State on the road at Grand Canyon. Toss out to the top of the key. Grand Canyon has the basketball. Given over to Harrison. He's guarded tightly. 
Slung around to the left wing for McMillan. Works around a screen toward the left corner, picked up by Fuller. Gets down to the baseline, nowhere to go. Gets cut off, has to kick it out with three to shoot. Here's the left wing three, that's no good. Air balls and a shot clock violation. Cats have forced two shot clock violations in the early going. Boy, this defense has shown something early. I know we're only about seven and a half minutes into the season, but man, they have brought the energy, the effort, and the active hands and feet. Figure Danny Sprinkle's feeling pretty good about that effort. They're just getting started. There's a long game and a long season to go, but Montana stayed off on the right foot, up 11 to four, 12.30 to go. Driving a kick up the top. Osibor at the free throw line. Backs it out, now takes it down to the right block, picks up the dribble and gets rid of it. Fuller, deep right wing three. That's no good, rebound tipped, and a foul. Ooh, Osibor looked like he tipped it initially, but he's tagged with a foul going after that rebound. Montana Parents No Parenting isn't easy. ParentingMontana.org provides you with a way to build your, the skills your children need to be successful. ParentingMontana.org, tools for your child's success. Battle and Bellow back onto the floor. He jo they join Brown and Ford and Fuller. So that's the five for the Cats right now. Just over 12 minutes ago in the first half, Montana State 11, up 11 to four. Drive by Baker, kicks into the left corner. Pass was tipped but corralled. The three from the corner is no good. And Raekwon Battle comes out of traffic with a rebound. Cats pushing the tempo. Brown up to the right wing. Throws into the post. Bellow shoved, there's the foul. Boy, that was a serious displacement. He had a forearm in his lower back. He moved about three feet while he was in the air. So foul called on uh, Grand Canyon. Vallejo picks up his first. The Ireland native, he's from Dublin. Quite an international flavor on both sides. We've got Ireland and France, England, all uh, represented today among a couple other spots, including Indonesia. Out to the right wing. Brown to the right, uh, mid post right side, pulls up with a jumper and knocks it down. Darius Brown, his first two points in the blue and gold of Montana State. Cats up 13-4. They're in a 13-0 run with 11.45 to go in the first half and a break coming at the next whistle. Baker out on the right wing, takes it up to the top of the key. Steps back, now tries to get inside on Battle, into the lane, to the rack, the lefty layup, no good. Bellow the rebound, and here comes Montana State from right to left. Board out to the left wing, bent over the bounce. Works his way, had it tipped, but recovers to the top. Slings around to Fuller, and the Cats slow it down. Give it to Bellow at the top. And then to Brown, takes a deep breath, 15 seconds on the shot clock, weaves his way inside, kicks to Fuller, drives the right baseline, cut off, working his way down, post it up, spins, puts it up with the left hand, and got it to go. That's a big man bucket by Caleb Fuller, and a timeout by Grand Canyon. Montana State on a 17-0 run, and they've got a 17-4 lead with 11-11 to go in the first half, silencing this big, big old crowd in Phoenix. We'll take a break. break. We're at the first interstate bank broadcast position with Montana State up 15 to four over Grand Canyon. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield.
Town Pump is a proud sponsor of the Brawl of the Wild rivalry series between Montana State University and the University of Montana. It's all sports all season long. Look for the special Brawl of the Wild promotions at your local Town Pump. Back in the first interstate bank broadcast position, courtside right next to the Cats bench. Montana State on a 15-0 run. They fell behind by four very early in this game, but now up 15-4 with 11-11 to go in the first half. This is an incredible start by Montana State. This is a Grand Canyon team that finished the year in the net ranking just, uh, just in the top 100. They were to, just uh, into the 90s at 92. And Montana State hanging with him. Here's a drive by Fletcher, swatted. Jabril Bellow turns it away and sends it right into the cheerleaders. Oh, that's a big time block by Jabril Bellow, who led the big sky in that category last season. 20 seconds on the shot clock after that big loud block. And Grand Canyon will inbound underneath their own basket. Toss into the left corner. Harrison works his way up the top, gets rid of it. McMillan pulls up now at the free throw line and draws a foul on Darius Brown. A soft foul there, and he picks up his first. So, so far, nobody with more than one foul for Montana State. So only one Wendy's three-pointer. That one coming from Lekalot today, and three assists presented by Aware Mental Health Services. Chance McMillan going to the line. He was the top free throw shooter for Grand Canyon last year, and he misses his first. The third year sophomore from Vallejo, California. Made three starts last year over his 31 games and had six points and two and a half rebounds a contest. Shot nearly 90% from the stripe, and that free throw is good. Chance McMillan gets his first point of the day, and that has this game at 15-5. That's the first point for Grand Canyon since the first couple of minutes, and we've got an illegal screen. Boy, tough situation there for Robert Ford. He picks up his second. The Cats turn it over. Now Ford had tried to set it up. He actually got the worst of that uh, of that collision, but he has to come off now with two personal fouls and 10.50 to go in the first. That's a big call. Darius Brown still on the floor. He's got one foul as well, so that could play a role here for Montana State, potentially getting into some foul trouble. Harrison has it, gives it up to Blackshirt at the top of the key with 10.40 to go in the first half. Cats up 10, lob to the post, swatted away by Bellow, and Battle able to pick it up. That was a lob attempt. They were trying to the alley-oop, and Bellow was able to knock it away. Battle gets the ball, basketball, and the Cats have it to our left. Brown out to the left wing, drives behind the back dribble, pulls up with the elbow, but a whistle and a foul. Missed the shot, but he'll take it as the foul goes on Chance McMillan, his second. Montana State basketball to our left. Cats leading 15 to five. 10.27 to go in the first on the road against Grand Canyon. Only two years removed from their last NCAA tournament. Cats, of course, were in the big dance last year. Up the top, Lekolak. Bounce pass over to the right wing, Brown. Into the post, Bellow on the right block. Back to the basket. Now turns around and faces up. Puts the ball on the floor. Kicks it back out, Brown. Catch and shoot, three, got it. Second three ball of the game for the Cats. And Darius Brown has five points in his Montana State debut. Montana State up 18 to five, 10.07 to go in the first. Wrapped around to the left wing for Harrison. Curls into the lane, kicks it back out to the top. Hand off to McMillan, pulls up with a contested three and brings it home. Chance McMillan putting it home. 35% three point shooter last year. 18-8, Montana State up by 10. 9.50 to go in the first half. Thrown up to Lekalat at the top. Picks up the bounce, throws into Bellow, back to the basket, right block, turns, lefty hook, rimming, no, and the rebound corralled by Grand Canyon. McMillan pushing the tempo out to the left wing, crosses over to the left elbow, has to back it out to the top, around to the right wing, Blackshirt takes it up to the top, slings it over to the left wing, hand it off to McMillan, then up to Blackshirt at the top, works his way to the wing. Back up to the top, they cannot penetrate here with 10 seconds to shoot. Now contested, flat-footed three. That's no good, and Montana State has the rebound. Great defensive set by the Bobcats. Brown up to the top, picks up the dribble, throws to Patterson right corner, looking for Bellow, doesn't have him. Back up to the top of the Cats, reset on the offensive side of the floor to our left. The three sections of students all making their uh, presence felt across the floor, and now the ball loose by Montana State, recover with 10 seconds to shoot. Brown to the top, nine. Brown with the dribble, seven. Brown still with the bounce on the drive, going to the rack, righty layup, just short. Little contact, no call, and 
Grand Canyon has the rebound. Out to the right wing, Harrison. Drives the right baseline, whistle, charge! Raekwon Battle able to go down and take the charge on the right baseline. What a play, drawing the charge on Rayshon Harrison. We had a question, what was Raekwon Battle gonna bring on the defensive end? And the answer is some emphatic defense. Boy, he's looked great and has made some really impressive athletic plays on that end of the floor. Simpkins Holland believes in building the Gallatin Valley's future while continuing to honor its past. For all your building needs, go to where long-standing traditions have been met with quality building products for over 75 years. Simpkins Holland, a Montana tradition among builders since 1946. They also present our Behind the Mic, which is streaming live on the Montana State Athletics YouTube page and the Bobcat Sports Properties Facebook page as well. If you want to see what it looks like, Behind the Mic, sit in courtside. Montana State with the basketball leading 18-8, eight, eight and a half to go in the first. Here's Battle on the drive from the right wing, lays it up, that's no good, no call on some contact, and Battle got his own offensive rebound. Fresh shot clock for the Bobcats. Bello has the top double team, stripped and lost it. Turnover by Montana State. Blackshire angles up the top. Over to Bauman on the right wing, turns down a three as Brown was there to close. Tossed into the right corner. Driving the baseline, no space, loose. Fuller diving down on the floor, loose ball. We got a whistle, what's the call? It's Grand Canyon basketball as it went out of bounds on the sideline. How about Caleb Fuller getting his hands into the cookie jar, knocking that free, and then diving down to the hard floor, uh, hardwood with Harrison. And it ended up out of bounds, last touch by Montana State. But again, great effort on the defensive end. Nick Gazelis into the ball game, making his season debut now. Patrick McMahon is in as well. He's had some good minutes today. Montana State up 18 to eight. Their leading scorer right now is Darius Brown with five. Grand Canyon with the basketball. Blackshire at the top, running the offense for Grand Canyon with eight minutes to go in the first half. Cats up 18 to eight and a foul on battle. Just got his hands caught in there as Blackshire was trying to drive. First foul on battle and that will take us to a break. Back to the First Interstate Bank broadcast position courtside in just a moment. Montana State leads 18 to eight, hostile territory on the road. 7.57 to go in the first half. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. Welcome back to the First Interstate Bank broadcast position. Courtside in Phoenix, Cats at Grand Canyon University, a top 100 team in the country, and they're up 18 to eight with 7.57 to go in the first half. Rocky Mountain Credit Union supporting Bobcat wins for over 75 years and counting. My member's choice in the financial institution is not federally insured. Each account is though insured up to $250,000. Grand Canyon with a basketball coming out of the timeout. They work offensively to our right. Montana State has held them to one of their last 11 from the field. Bounce into the left corner. Here's a three, and that's good. Coming out of the timeout, Nick Bauman.
Tillman putting it in for his first three of the day and the year. Montana State up 18 to 11, 740 to go in the first. Hand off to McMahon at the top. Curls toward the elbow and picks up the dribble. Bounce pass over to Raekwon Battle on the left wing. Comes right around the screen. Crosses over, had it tip free, able to recover the possession. Doesn't have the dribble, bounce to Asabor. Go to the rack, slams it down with two hands. Oh, what a give and go. And Asabor able to rattle the rim with his first dunk of the year. Four points for Asabor, and he had a big two-hand hammer. Out of the right wing, Blackshirt. Up to the top, McMillan on the drive to the rack. Layup, no, battle with the defense, and the rebound corralled by Montana State. Give it out to battle on the right baseline, or right side, down to Asabor, lays it up, no, but draws the foul. Great pace by Montana State, and great Asabor will be heading the line for two. That foul is called on Noah Bauman, his first. Man, great work by Montana State, getting out and running there after getting the stop underneath. Grand Canyon is two of their last 13. Shot 43% last year and scored 71 points a game. Great Osibor to the line. His first free throw of the day is a high arcing shot that comes up a little bit short. The England native stands at 6'8", 245. Played about 15 minutes a game last year. Has looked very, very good in the preseason and practice and in the exhibition. Starting to see him get going here. He's got four points so far, looking for his fourth at the line. His shot is up and good. So he splits the free throws. Five points for great Osibor, the season opener. And Montana State back up by 10, leading 21 to 11. Hand off up at the top for Harrison. Give it to Baker, still at the top of the key. Now to Blackshirt, still at the top. Works his way right around the screen, going to the rack, righty layup. That is no good. Nice defense by Patrick McMahon. Cats have the rebound and they're running. McMahon to the top. Grant Canyon gets back defensively. Ball worked around to the right wing. Gazellas throws out to battle. Curls into the lane, going to the rack. Lefty layup, got it to go. Weaving in and out of white jerseys. And Raekwon Battle able to put it home. He's got four. 6.30 to go in the first half. Montana State up 23 to 11. Boy, they've been clicking on all cylinders in the first 14 minutes of the season. Blackshire up at the top. Step back two ball, top of the key. Got it. That's a heck of a shot by the preseason player of the year in the WAC, Javon Blackshire, with six points. Now into the post, Osibor picks it up, throws out to the left wing, McMahon. Back into the left post, Osibor. Back and down, draws the double, throws into the post. Bad pass, tip, recovered by Montana State. Here's Battle, contested baseline, Jay. Rims out just a bit short, no good. Grand Canyon with a basketball. Under six minutes to play in the first half. Montana State up 23-13, trying to score a big time road win to open the year. Here's the left wing three, that is good. Laughlin with his first three of the day. 23-16, Grand Canyon three of nine from downtown. Cats two of three. And we've got a whistle and a timeout called by Montana State. 5.36 to go in the first. Cats leading 23-16. And we're gonna keep it, or no, we are going to take a break. Yes, we're taking a break, so we will pause. This is Bobcat basketball from Learfield. table like we were taking the media timeout. Even the coaches are confused. They're talking about it. I don't know. The scores table's talking like we're about to come back. All the coaches are confused. I think they're about to come back. Can we bring it back after this break? Is that possible? Okay. And then I'll throw it to another break later. Yes. Yeah, let's bring it back after this commercial. Yeah. Okay. I don't feel bad. Everybody was confused on that. Everybody's in. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Whew. Oh, man. Good communication. We are, we are back at Grand Canyon University with Montana State up 23 to 16 coming out of their timeout. That was not an official media timeout, and Montana State has the basketball. Even the officials were a little confused there on uh, what they were doing. So Cats will line it up offensively with 5.30 to go in the first half, up 23-16. We've got a whistle, and an offensive foul away from the ball. Uh, Darius Brown, that's his second. Now the Cats have some trouble 
at the point guard position with uh, a couple of uh, their point guards in foul trouble. Brown with two, Ford with two. Grand Canyon with a basketball working from left to right. Montana State up 23-16. This feels like we're about to get into quite the turning point here with 5.18 to go in the first half. Top side three, in and out for Blackshire. Rebound tipped and corralled by McMahon of the Cats. He works his way across the half court line. Pass out to the left baseline, back out to left wing, Fuller. Up to the top, McMahon. Giving a Brown on the right wing. Chest pass to Fuller, left wing, looking for Osiborne. Finds him with a bounce pass. Down to a cutting battle. God fouled as he was going to the cup. Boy, that was a helter skelter possession. Grand Canyon was all over the basketball. And Montana State built, still found a way to get the ball into a cutting uh, battle's hands. And he earns the foul. That's the first on Javon Blackshirt. And battle will go to the line. See every pulse pounding, buzzer beating play in astounding detail with a patient experience and second to none. Experienced doctors and advanced technology, Vance Thompson Vision, the official LASIK and cataract surgeon of the Bobcats, is your home for laser vision correction. Learn more at advancedthompsonvision.com. First free throw is good for Raekwon Battle, having a nice start to the year. His second shot is up, that is through, giving him six points today. And Montana State back up by nine, leading 25 to 16. Their largest lead today was a 13 point advantage. Grand Canyon with a basketball. Ooh, nearly taken away by Battle, but corralled by McMillan at the top. Takes it over to the left wing. Dribbles left, gets the mid post, kicks it out to the left corner for Blackshirt. Trying to back down on Brown, no space. Crosses over down to the baseline to the rack, floats it up. That's no good. Great defense, and the Cats have the rebound as Battle brings it down. Here's Brown into the front court. Up to Battle at the top. He tries a deep three. No good, that's short. And the rebound tipped out of bounds, staying with Montana State. Good hustle there underneath. Montana State will retain the possession. Nick Gazelis into the ball game. Brown will take a breather. Both Brown and Ford with two fouls today. They're the only two guys in foul trouble right now in the first half for Montana State. 4.27 to go in the first half. Cats up 25-16. Grand Canyon ready to inbound. They work down to the baseline. Hello, a hello to the Fishers, Kara and Linda tuning in today. Up to the top, battle at the top. Fires down to the left block. Reverse layup, that's good. Great, Osibor able to finish. What an athletic bucket on the reverse right-handed layup off the glass. Seven points for Great Osibor. 4-12 to go in the first half. Montana State up by 11. Harrison to the top, gives to Blackshirt. Backs it out near the U, GCU at center court. Down to the right corner, drive by Harrison, lays it up. No, oh, they called a foul. Battle put his hands right on his side, tried to avoid that, but they're saying he used his body. Tough, he was, you could tell he was trying not to foul there. That was the whole point. And a big foul on Raekwon Battle, his second. He's played a great ball game. He tucked his hands in his pocket, trying to avoid the foul, but they say he gave it a little bit of a bump with his body kind of underneath, and that's why they called a foul. This game is brought to you by the Montana State Fund, covering Montana's workers with workers' comp and safety know-how. Workplace safety, you're naked without it. More at safemt.com. We will take a break. Four minutes remaining in the first half. Montana State up 27-16 on the road at Grand Canyon University. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield.
at our first interstate bank broadcast possession or position presented uh, or courtside as Montana State has a 27-16 lead over Grand Canyon with four minutes to go in the first half. You just cannot understate how impressive the first 16 minutes have been from Montana State. This is a tremendous Grand Canyon team. You've got two teams between these squads that were both picked first in their conference in the free preseason poll. Harrison's first free throw is good. Grand Canyon coming out of the whack, one of the better mid-major conferences around the country. They finished the year top 10 in the net, or top 100 in the net ranking. Only two years removed from their last NCAA tournament. Second free throw by Harrison is up and no good. So he splits the pair and Montana State has the rebound. Cats moving from right to left. Such a difficult road trip to open the year. The Cats have stood up to the fire so far today. Into the post puller, makes the left-handed layup, and he got it to go. What a dive by Great Osibor from the right wing down to the left block, and Caleb Fuller able to finish. Grand Canyon with the basketball at the top. Montana State up 29-17, 3.30 to go in the first. Ellis has it on the left wing, fires into the post, and it is... Blocked and a foul called on Caleb Fuller. He came down, that was a hard foul, and he is hurt, but getting back up. Boy, tough kid. He went up, he got he got peeked out on the fake, and came down and tried to, to block that. He kind of just draped his man. It was a hard foul. And then he went down hard, his feet got kind of cut out from underneath him as he was coming down on top of McLaughlin. Second foul on Caleb Fuller. Even though the Cats have a 12-point lead on the road as his first free throw is good. They, uh, they haven't been perfect. Uh, they've got some foul trouble here. Fuller with two, Brown with two, Ford with two, and Battle with two. They're two for four from downtown, so they're hitting their threes but not taking a ton of them. All three-point field goals are presented by Wendy's. Seven assists on 12 field goals. That's a great ratio. Assists presented by Aware Mental Health Services. His free throw is up, and good. Laughlin puts them both in, he's got five points, one of the starters who averaged nine a game last year. Three quarter court press from Grand Canyon. Like a lot with the basketball, fires down the left sideline to Tyler Patterson into the front court. Bounce pass up to the top, like a lot, back to Patterson, weaves his way to the elbow and then backs it out. Up to the top, Gazalis to the right wing, still with the bounce, crosses over. Picks up the bounce, gives it into Bello, right block, double, lays it up with the left hand, no good. Boy, that help coming in from the top side. Looked like he kind of hit him on the forearm, no call. Blackshear has it for Grand Canyon. Out to McLaughlin, rhythm, right wing three, short, airballed it, and it's out of bounds, Montana State basketball. At First Interstate Bank, it's about supporting our communities and cheering on our teams. Thank you for letting us be your trusted community bank for more than 50 years. First Interstate Bank, built for you, member FDIC. Montana State with the basketball. They lead 29-19. They had a long 15-0 run in early in this first half, and they've been able to maintain a double-digit lead for most of the first 20 minutes. 2.45 left in the first. Battle going to the rack, draws the foul. A one and one coming for Montana State. Good job by Raekwon Battle, putting his head down and going right to the rack. Second foul on Ray Harrison. Officials have been pretty good today. They've let a lot of the contact go evenly. Takes a lot to get a call right now, but you'll take it. Two gritty teams right now. Montana State has a 10 point lead with Battle at the line. Front end of the one and one is no good, and Montana State struggling from the stripe, three of seven. Rebound collected by Grand Canyon. Harrison has it at the top, step back three. No good off the heel of the iron, the Cats clear the rebound, they've been great on the glass, out rebounding Grand Canyon by nine today. Last year Grand Canyon was plus six in the rebounding battle, one of the better rebounding teams in the WAC. Gazelas up to the top, curls to the right elbow, the jumper is up and pure. Nick Gazelas making some space all by himself, his first two points of the year. Montana State up 31-19. How about this defensive effort? Holding Grand Canyon for now, only the 19 points with two minutes to go in the first half. Hand off to Blackshear, but bumped, but no call against Gazelas. Blackshear on the right wing, draws the double team. Here's the trap, able to pass out of it with a bounce. Into the left corner with 10 to shoot. Picks up the dribble, Lecolette knocks it out of bounds, and it'll stay here with Grand Canyon. Nice job by Sam Lecolette. Coming in and swatting that thing across the left sideline. Montana State up, 31-19. 155 to go in the first half. It's been all Montana State. Grand Canyon started it with uh, the first four points, but then the Cats went on a 15-0 run 
And they've got a 31-19 lead right now with 1.55 to go in the first. Boy, a win like this out of the road would certainly set the tone for the year with some really difficult matchups coming up over the next two weeks. There's only one home game in November. Three seconds to shoot. Blackshaw on the drive two to the elbow one. Fall away Jay. No good. Airballed it. The Cats have the rebound. Ello goes down hard. Coming away. No call. Catch into the front court. Take it up to the top. Patrick McMahon with it. Starting two point guards. Both with two fouls right now. Ford and Brown sitting on the bench with the foul trouble. Leclerc out on the right wing. Puts it on the floor. Swings around to the left corner. Salis looking for the post. Finds Bellow left block. Back to the basket. Eight to shoot. Bellow backing down five. Still backing into the middle of the lane. Spins, puts up the shot. No, but draws the foul. Draws the foul on Odrago. His first great patience shown by Jabril Bello. Not yet at uh, full capacity after an offseason knee operation. So far, Jabril Bello today. Two points, one of four from the field with a pair of rebounds and two assists. 116 remaining the first half. Bello puts up the first of two, got it to go. Jabril Bello knocked down 72% from the stripe last year. Over 1,100 career points, over 500 rebounds, over 120 blocks. He's got one block already today, and he almost took out the dance team with it. Montana State up by 13. This matches their largest lead of the day. A chance to push it out with one more from Bello with the halftime break looming. The shot is up. No good, too strong. Bounced off the heel of the iron. And Grand Canyon has the rebound. Montana State just four of nine from the free throw line today. Hand off to Ellis. He curls up at the top of the key. Standing dribble. One minute remaining in the first half. Grand Canyon with a basketball. Baker up to the top. Curls into the lane. Jump pass out to the right, uh, uh, right block. Has to kick it out. Driving the left baseline. Layup is no good. They called a foul. A little ticky tack there. That's going to go on Jabril Bello. His first. Interwest Moving and Storage is the official moving company of the MSU Bobcats. 53 seconds to go in the first half. 32-19, Cats on top. Baker with the free throw, and that is no good. Boy, neither team particularly shooting it well from the free throw line. Boy, this is an impressive performance by Montana State. They're just playing good, fundamentally sound defense right now. They've held Grand Canyon to 26% from the field. Cats shoot 54%. His free throw is no good. Rebound tipped and won. Gazelas was there to clean it up after Bello couldn't quite corral it. Good hustle again. Good uh, nose for the ball by Gazelas. Up to the top, Lekolat. Out to the left wing. Gazelas out to the top. Gives to Bello out high on the elbow. Hands off for McMahon. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Going against Grand Canyon. Noah Bowman with, with his second. First year player just transferred over from Georgia. Like the lad to the line. The Sheridan, Wyoming native. Only played eight minutes a game last year, but shot the ball well from the three point line when he had the opportunities. Went seven of 17 from downtown. First free throw is no good. Boy, those free throws are really going to stink in the craw of Cat Country and Danny Sprinkle. Montana State right now. Four of ten from the free throw line with one more coming from Lekalat, who was nearly at 80% from the stripe last year. And this free throw is good. Lekalat with four points in his season debut. Averaged two a game last year. Montana State up 33-19. 30 seconds remaining in the first half. Ten-second differential between the shot and game clocks. Ellis throws it up to the top of the key. Wrapped around over the left wing for Baker. Back up to the top, Odrago. One dribble, picks it up, still beyond the arc. Ten seconds to shoot. Hand off to Bauman. One to three, didn't have it. Seven to shoot, up to Blackshire. He's at the top of the key with five. Crosses over, going to the rack, kicks to the left corner. The three is no good, and Montana State has the rebound. Seven seconds left in the first half. Catch into the front court. Four seconds, out to the left wing, Patterson. Three, his three ball. Bang! Tyler Patterson puts the exclamation point on one of the louder first halves you'll see in the non-conference. Montana State going on the road in one of the more hostile environments you will find the mid-major level, and the Cats have a 36-19 lead over Grand Canyon, capped up, 
by the three ball from Tyler Patterson. Wow, what a performance the first 20 minutes. We weren't sure what we'd see from Montana State as they brought in a lot of new players and lost their star point guard. And what we have witnessed is an absolutely impressive showing, silencing one of the best atmospheres you'll find. Montana State up 36-19 over Grand Canyon. We're in the halftime. We'll take a break from the First Interstate Bank broadcast position courtside in Phoenix. Again, your halftime score, Montana State up 36-19 over Grand Canyon. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield. Time show Montana State leading 36 19 over Grand Canyon University as they've, they've got the uh, trampoline out and they're knocking down some big highlight dugs. And oh, this is about as loud as uh, Grand Canyon fans will be able to cheer since Montana State has gotten off to such a great first half start. Before we get you all the stats and everything that happened in the first 20 minutes, let's pause 10 seconds for our network station identification. This is Bobcat Basketball. Grand Canyon University in a, a building that is expecting mostly sellouts all year. I think it's just under a sellout. They actually have two decks here. The top deck is only about six or seven rows, and it's like right up next to the ceiling, which is a very uh, low ceiling here. But it, it's a place that has sold out all their season tickets. They've got three seconds, uh, sections of students, and this place is loud and rocking. They do a great job in their game presentation, but Montana State has better, been, been better in game and they lead 36 to 19. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and uh, when we get back, we'll get you caught up on all the stats from the first 20 minutes of play. Montana State had fallen behind four nothing. They went on a 15-0 run and they head to halftime with a 17 point lead, their largest of the day. Montana State up 36-19 at halftime. We are sitting at the First Year State Bank broadcast position courtside here in Phoenix. This is Bobcat Basketball from Learfield. 